Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. I have a little project to do with all sorts of scraps and we are going to do that. But first I have some things to share with you from various places. So <laughs> let's say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to Lulu, Rachel, Nancy and Billy Joe, thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so first off, we have a new digital from Carrie the Crafter. This is a definitions digital and it's got several different presentations, I guess you could say. Um, it's got just the plain white then and then it's got another font if I can get it. So there you go. Yeah, it's, I think, a 12-page digital, and it's Carrie the Crafters, and it's available on PM Artist Studios. So I will, I will put their link in the description box. So that's new from Carrie. And then I had myself a little shop several places. <laughs> First of all, let me show you this. Um... These are from Kathy. Oh gosh, I hope I have her shop somewhere. Here it is. Here it is. Kathy's Kathy Crafts. So I'll link her as well. Oh look, she gave me some little bonus charms. I'm running low on charms, so that's really awesome. Thank you, Kathy. And then um, I was in need. I went through my dangles. I had no pink dangles. No pink and no um, teal. And so she helped me out. And we've got teal. We've got, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. They're so fun. I'll get some in my hand here in a minute. So she really, she really stocked me up with the teal and the, and the pink. Um, I, I don't know why, but I just, I had a lot, I have a lot of red left, but Ooh, and some blue. Yes. Awesome. I, I, as you can tell, I hadn't even opened this yet because I was waiting for you guys. Oops, I just dropped one. There it is. Actually dropped two. Okay, so let me get those up in my hand. Beautiful dangles. Thank you so much, Kathy. I'm so excited so excited aren't they gorgeous yes so we're gonna just i'm just gonna slide those over here for the moment okay and so yes kathy crafts so did that let's see oh and then my pal amy at crafty cat i um i was this is what i wanted to order was her uh her laser cut frames. I've almost used all the ones that I had before. So I ordered that. Um, oh, I see she, she put in some examples too, cool. And then this is craft flowers. Aren't those pretty? Yes, love those. And then also, Childhood Silhouettes. This is really cool. You guys, let me show you these. I mean, you can kind of tell the flowers are flowers and the frames are frames, but let me just, let me just show you a couple of these Childhood Silhouettes. So, like, here's a little boy on a tricycle. Can you see that okay? Uh, little boy and girl holding hands. Um, there's one with some little tootie horns. So yeah, anyway, had a, had a good little shop at my friend Amy's at Crafty Cat USA. So that was great. I am stocked up and I love these flowers because they're taller. So excited about all those. Thank you so much, Amy. So Crafty Cat USA on those. And then... 
Oh, of course, I had to go visit my pal Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. She had some lovely laces and they were just the right size for on um, the edge of pages. So I got those. And then, um, then these she sent along, these little tiny envelopes. Aren't those fun? Yes. And then I got some coin envelopes too. So that's Emily, Vintage Polka Dot Shop. One more. And then also my pal Darcy, Darcy's Mixed Media. She is selling through, um, me, let me get to it here. She is selling through PM Artist Studio also. Um, so I got this one, which let me put them on the mat. I got this one, which is neurograph. It's neurospheering, she calls it. Isn't that cool? I love that because, you know, I like to do that neurographic art. This one is called uh, Messy Borders. Been into borders lately, too, as you know. So, yeah. So that'll be fun. And then this one is called Springing Up Borders. So we've got some like tulips and stuff, numbers, just so fun. That. And oh, and then she sent she sent some some fun grungy papers and stuff. So yeah, that is from my friend Darcy, Darcy's Mixed Media Adventures on uh, YouTube. And then she's selling through PM Artist Studio. So that was, that was my little shop that I had going on. Um, as well, I wanted to say thank you to Peggy, who said Peggy was going to come visit Helena and then it got canceled and she had put together a little um a little goodie bag for me so that came too she's naughty because you're not supposed to do happy mail but she did so thank you Peggy I'm so sorry we won't get to meet but you know another time another time we will okay now we're gonna do stuff with scraps so first of all I have this little stash of these are the four by six um index cards that i have some coffee dyed ones i have colored ones and then i did grab some smaller ones too these are three by five i think yeah so we're gonna have a little have a little play with these and this is an idea from kathleen mauer and so um, I will link her her video below as well. So let's let's play here. First of all, I, this is just I think just about the right size. So I'm gonna grab this. Let's just I think if we just put this in half and tear it, it will be just about right. It'll be a little short. Um, but Kathleen had this idea and I've been dying to try it and I wanted to, I want to make circus ones. I want to make some with just my scraps. So so let me show you. Here's a red one. That would be good. Oh, it's red on one side, blue on the other. How cool is that? Didn't even know I had that in my stash. So I think I might go blue side on this one. Now, she had them so that this piece actually um, went all the way down, you know. So, but I figure I'll just work with whatever my scraps let me do. And then let's make one all the way. And then we can just put some others together that can be then finished. Um, she put a hole in hers two holes and then um, put a little string through. I'm thinking I might like to put eyelets in there just for fun. I don't know, you could do it either way. So I'm just gonna eyeball kind of, 
you know, the distance like that. Okay. And then should we put a little, let's put a little eyelet in there. And give it the squish. Okay. And then, so basically when you're done, you have four writing surfaces, right? And this one would normally be longer, but um, I'm just going to use up that scrap. So, yeah, and then a little tie of some sort. What do we have over here that might work? Oh, this would be cute. I think. I think, I think. So then you just put this little guy through. And again, if you, if you don't want to put in eyelets, you don't need to. You can just use a hole punch or whatever. And they're just adorable. Just adorable. Totes adorbs. Totes adorbs. So, um, so that's, that's what we end up with. That's what we end up with. It's this little, um, this little thing. Isn't that cute? Very simple, but I think awesome to put into a pocket and have extra writing space. So cool. All right. So I'm going to make a pile of these over here. All right. So, um, let's do same thing here, but let's do the, let's do the red side showing through on this one. There we go. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to put the papers on. We'll worry about punching in a little bit here. Let me just set that up there for now. Okay, I'm just going to make a stack, kind of do these in a mass make sort of style. Okay, I have Tim Holtz here. I just wondered if I had some the right size, like for instance, this one. Let's use a coffee dye and um, I think we're going to want to cut this right about there. I'm going to have a little, a little bit of a scrap left, but that's okay. Um, thinking about what's going through my head right now is the writing sides. Now this side can be written on easily. I think we're going to want my bone folder out too. So that would go on there like that. And you could write a little bit up there. You could write there, but on these sides, you're not going to be able to write unless you used a really dark something. So another thing we could do is Grab some coffee dyed paper and we'll just, we'll just make it so it can be written on. Where, where my, there it is. Very deeply is my, is my ruler. So while we're putting this on, <laughs> I, I have to tell you, I got an awesome picture from my daughter, um, I told you about Addie's little boyfriend that came and stayed with us for Easter. Just a really great kid. Really enjoyed him. Anyway, um, got the picture of the promposal. Did you know about this? I did not. <laughs> it's a thing, though. It's a thing. The promposal. And so you know, the, the, the boy comes and has his, his little whatever all figured out. Um, he had a sign that 
I think Amy was in on this, my daughter, because um, there were pink balloons all over Addie's room. And um, then the the sign, I can't remember what exactly what it said, but it said something about pink roses. And he gave her a dozen pink roses. And um, something about pink roses and prom memories or something. And then it had prom with a question mark. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, it, I don't know. I think it's really super cute, but I feel like, oh my gosh, what a lot of pressure on a teenage boy to come up with the cute idea for a promposal. <laughs> oh, so anyway, yep. It's, I think it's coming up like the first of May or something, you know, that first weekend in May. I think that's right. I'm going to be at my friend Diane's retreat. So I hope my daughter sends me pictures. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I had to tell you, there was a promposal in the family. <laughs> okay. So now, now there's, you know, three and a half sides. So now we put that on there. You could write there as well as everywhere else. I don't think, see, I think putting just the holes in this, then you can take the string out and you can lift it all the way up. So I can see, see that. Now, this one was on such light paper. I think that those little brads or um, eyelets will help. But here, oh, that just gave me another idea. Okay, let's try this. See here, where do I have those? Okay, just had another idea. Let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna put an eighth inch hole in this one, like about like that, and let's put a brad in there. And how about we put a Tim Holtz brad in there? Hmm, I've got numbers. That's fun. Um, I'm just going to grab these. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, Gail. Okay, then you can take the brads out and write. So that's that'll be easy to do. But that's a fun one. I like that one. Okay. Ooh, ready then? Keep the brads kind of out and handy too. All right, so do I have any other appropriately sized paper? I don't. This one? Is that too wide? Yeah, that's too wide, and I don't want to cut it down because I could use it for something else. Okay. All right, that pretty much does it for that size of paper in Tim Holtz. But I have some stuff here. Like, look at that one. I have to cut it off because I, I punched some butterflies out of it. But it's okay. I like that, though. That would be pretty. Um... Do we want it on? I have a bunch of these yellow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. I think you can write on the, on the back easily enough. Okay. So that's going to be that one it up there. What else do we have in this bag of goodies? It's a little wide. Too wide. It's too skinny. <laughs> I'm looking for the just rights. Yeah, those are skinny. Although, 
Those three. Hold the phone. Those could work on a little one, maybe. Here's one. Those are too small. There. This one could work. Okay. All right, so that takes care of that. Let's see what we have here. These are smaller, but I'm wondering if they would work on these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be great. That'll be really cute on there. Okay. Okay, now I had another thought, which is, what if we then just fold this up and that's kind of cute because that butterfly is there and then that makes more more room on this side to there's more room there to journal okay cool okay what do i have a I'm just looking for fairly plain one here Let's see, do I want this mute? I think I want this side in the front. Mm, I'm, a, I'm really liking these. It's really cute. Thank you, Kathleen. You always have such good ideas. If you have not checked out Kathleen's channel from the other times I've talked about her, then, um, yeah, then you need to. She's got great ideas and she's got a lovely voice and I like listening to her. I'll go here. Ooh, that's a cool one. Okay. Yeah, so big weekend. Our Marin had her her volleyball. Our grandson Maddie made all American wrestler and Addie got prom pose to do. <laughs> oh, it just cracks me up. It's so silly. Okay. Oh, look at there's a blue one. Let's see what it's like. Okay. Yeah, that's cute, isn't it? Okay, let's do that. This is a little thicker paper. That other was pretty thin, but that's okay. Now, I do think I will cut that off. See, and I'm just thinking, why not make a whole ton of these and just have them to stick in your journals? I mean, I have lots of Lots and lots of spring journals coming up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do you decide on this one? This idea is, okay, it's just as wide as. Do we care about that? I feel like we don't. Ooh. Well, that orange is awful, but I was looking at the green. Not much shows, though, does it? <clears throat> I think I might just use a plain one then. It's it's exactly the same, um, exactly the same size. This this one is. So, but that can be journaled on, so that's good. So I'm just gonna. I'm going to do that one, and that's kind of, 
It just doesn't have the edging. Okay, what about you? Okay. Um, I think I'm going to take off the strip. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. Okay. And right on that side, might need to take, oopsie. I need to take a little of this off. I kind of like it with the green. Okay, I'm going to chop off just a tiny bit. And then Kathleen did a little decorating on these as well, which I thought was really cute. Um, I feel like ah, this one doesn't really need any decorating. You could do a little deco, you, you know. Oh, how about one of Amy's flowers? Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go five more minutes of making these and then we're going to do and then we're going to do some decorating on the ones we've made. How's that? Okay, really like that. Okay, I need to do a couple clown ones. So, let's switch gears here slightly. And See, I don't know that I have the proper size scrap, but we're going to look. Oh, maybe, maybe. Got a bunch of scraps there. That one would be cool. That one. Oh, I love the elephants. got on this side. You could still write on that one. This one, not so much. This one could be written on. That could be a smaller one. It's on this side now. That could be written on, but it's not super circusy. Um, let's make a couple out of those. All right, let's see. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Oh, look, it was bent there anyways. Okay, this was bent in half anyway, so I'm going to go with it. So a 12-inch scrap, since this is a 4 by 6 is going to, you know, it's going to work there. Okay, so that's a good one. Like that. And this one, I don't have any more of that blue, do I? I do have this blue, however, and red. Let's just do it in half again. Do I want the blue showing or the red showing? Okay, the blue is very pretty. So is the red, but I like the blue better. Okay, we're going to make that into that one. Okay, now we can do these. Oh, those are gonna need to be tags. Those are too small. This one, gosh, that would be cute right there, wouldn't it? Um, I have a pink, and it's yellow on that side, but, oh, that's kind of neat, isn't it? Let's do that. This one's going to be short on the back again, but it's okay. Okay, so we made a bunch, 
And now let's kind of get them, get them decorated. This one, I know what I want to do with. So, okay, I'm going to just throw these scraps back in my uh, scrap bin. Um, I have some others. Let's see. Hang on one sec. I think... grabbing my collage scraps here. I wanted to see. Okay, that one. These are from Amy at Crafty Cat. They come with the um, pockets. That would be upside down. I thought I had some scraps in here that might work well. This would be a fun one, wouldn't it? Okay, I don't know what else is. Okay. Honestly, I could go all day with this. This is so fun. Okay, so this I'm going to do in half. We're going to decorate, I promise. I just am a crazy woman with this. But I also know I've got a lot of spring um, journals. And so some of these florals and stuff would be just perfect. Rip this one. Okay, I'm gonna put that with two, and then look at this. So we would want this about three-ish. So and let's, let's do this one too. I'm going to go three and a quarter on this one. And then this one is, will work too. So five more, just five more. <laughs> Can't stop. Okay. The yellow is speaking to me. Ooh, that is bright and happy, isn't it? I think it would go best with this one though. I know. Orange. Ooh, this one would go well with orange. Yeah, I had these um, colored index cards in a drawer where, seriously, I never would have known they were there. See, how cute is that? really only three surfaces to write on that one, but that's okay. Okay. Pink. Love these, Kathleen. Can you tell? I can't stop. But it's great because we'll have a bunch all set up. Oh, I should have showed you that. That one's cute, isn't it? Okay. Do we have any more blue? One more blue. Oh, yeah. I think I got these colored um, index cards at like an estate sale. Because there's just a random amount. There's a lot of yellow. A lot of yellow. Maybe we'll use a yellow for this one. Yeah, that's nice. Um, so, yeah. Okay, that one's cute. And we just have this one. Do we have a red? We do. Let's just do a happy red with that. So, you guys, my spring flowers are blooming. My hyacinth is blooming. The deer have eaten my tulips, as per usual. I want to go that way or this way. That's really cute, too. But I don't have many reds, so we'll go that way. Yeah, um, I went to take out uh, my circus journal, and that sold. I went to take it out 
to the mailbox and I'm like, oh, the deer have been eating. Okay, let's grab, let's see, Crafty Cats. I think one of her flowers would be kind of neat on this. Let's see. Pull out a couple. Oh, look how cool that looks. I'll put it down there so it doesn't take up as much writing space. Maybe like that. And then you could write there. Okay, cool. I'm going to do that for that one. Um, Glue. I need some glue. Now you could distress all this. I'm not going to. I, oddly enough, am feeling like it doesn't really need it. I'm an inker till I'm not, I guess. Wow. Glue bloopers, for heaven's sakes. Okay. Happily, the glue's coming out, even though it's goobered. So cute. Okay. Already used one, Amy. Okay, let's now think about, I'm thinking those, those little kids, those black, Silhouettes of little kids would be cute, too. Like, maybe on, like, something like this. Let's just see. Sorry, guys, I'm having to get on the floor to get these. Um, I'm kind of feeling like a kid in a candy shop, though. I just want to play with all this. Hey, there's a little that's cute oh look how cute okay I just want to see if there's that's a sled don't want a sled sled will say for Christmas here's the little boy and little girl with the horns that fits really well there the little holding hands the tricycle and then there's some singles, too. I think I'm going to do those, too, though. And you could, um, could put a little label across there as well. Gosh, those are so cute. Okay, let's do our holes. I mean, if you were really, really, really doing a mass make... I'm going to do the little ones and see if I can just, I'm going to put those fairly close together like that. Um, if you were doing a mass make, you go through and put holes in all of them and then finish it up. Should we just use that same, I don't know, what's this? I'll use this. Oh, here's a little, here's a little red one. I'm just looking in my little bits of when I get things from Etsy that have um, string on them I just save it and then use it for stuff like this that's why I have the rat's nest of a basket of string it's pretty oh that's cute look Crazy. Let's see. I think they'll lay better that way. Just kind of looking at the, the paper. These are so cute. Didn't even know I'd get to use them today, but it's perfect.
Okay. You two little people are going to just go right there. And they're flat enough that it's not going to hinder the writing on this side at all. But how stinking cute is that? I love that, Amy. Okay. Okay. So let's do, let's do another one. Um, hmm, this one could be fun. This one just like needs a label or something. I feel like better put the glue back on. Um, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put eyelets in this one. There's a gold to the paper and I think a gold eyelet would be kind of fun on these. That is if I can get it out of the holder here. So basically the decisions to be made are to decorate or not. Where are you? Um, to decorate or not. And what ribbon to use or string. I have a pink. Oh, I have this pink. It'd be kind of cute. It's very fuzzy. Pink for the promposal. <laughs> oh, I just can't get over it. I just think that's so funny that they do that. It's like, oh my goodness. I don't even remember how I got asked to the prom. Do you? Any any good prom stories? Um, I think whatever boyfriend I was dating at the time was kind of... It was assumed that one would go to the prom. Oh man, I don't know if I can. I think I might have to just, well, I wanna tie it. I don't wanna knot because I want them to be able to take it out. But this is very hairy, it's hard to, I think I might've got it. Okay, we're not using that. There's got to be something else pink in here. Yes, here's some here's some just pink string or trim or something. Let's use that. <laughs> that was just too much, too much. Gail couldn't handle it. So, very excited. My friend Deb's coming over this afternoon. We're going to craft. So if I have more of these to finish, I can do it while Deb is here. Oops. Sorry, guys. My tying is not the best. Just not very coordinated when it comes to this. Ah, there we go. Okay. Got it. Okay, I think that one needs a label. And I'm thinking maybe, oh, I have pink ones cut out. Cute. That's all she needs. I think I'm going to do the edges a little bit. are super fun and you know we've used up some scraps and actually used up some um, index cards that I didn't even realize that I had right there I think okay that one's fun very fun now what do we want let's look 
That's a kind of, oh, these are kind of different. These are smaller, so that's fun. Maybe we can punch the holes in those. Just going to do, once again, I'm going to do the eighth of an inch on these. Okay. Got little, got little holes going everywhere. And this one. So I feel like these, maybe we'll decorate similarly to how Kathleen did with just a flower. Um, there's some green ribbon. Maybe we could use that here. Oh, uncoordinated with the string. Gosh, I got up this morning and, you know, I think I told you guys I was having trouble with my ear that they've, doctors been trying to figure it out. Um, but I was so dizzy this morning. I was like staggering out of my bed. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on, but I might have to. Might have to go back. Do you think pink's too pink on this? I don't know. I think it might be okay. So, yeah. I'm just staggering. But by the time I did my yoga, I was doing better. I'm going to say that's the reason I can't tie a bow. <laughs> it's because my balance is off today. <laughs> but I think it's related to my ear. Right? Because don't your ears kind of, if they're not quite right, that don't they mess with your balance? I don't know. Okay. So there's that one. And then let's tie this one. I want something just a, like a thin. Do I have a thin? This is as thin as I have. That's not going to work see about this piece of yarny stuff <laughs> if it goes through the hole that's a plus right there okay so these I think we'll just put a flower on each one and that will be good and those will be done Okay, how are we doing time-wise? We're good. Okay, these three. So, do I want washi? Or do I want not washi? <laughs> See what we have here. This might be, yeah, that one on there. Okay, cool. And then I don't know if I want washi on them all, but bows and washi. That's those are the sticklers today. Okay, that's cute. I like that one. Very cute. Okay. And then I don't know if I want another washi but we'll see here what about this on here just in the middle yeah it's fine a-okay Okay, there's that one. Could put a little word or something up there if you wanted to as we go. Um, let's use like 
a fussy cut flower just for fun on this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have the carpet cleaners coming tomorrow. I have to move all the stuff off the floor of my craft room. <laughs> it's going to be quite the task. Ooh, I like that one. That's cute. Okay, it looks like I need to just cut a little bit. Sorry about that. Get my eaten scissors here. Just need to... Now I try to get all of this kind of stuff cut out as I'm fussy cutting it rather than, than going, okay, well, I cut around it. Let's not worry about all these little bits. Okay, just a little hint. When you poke a hole, then go to the corners. So I've got really three corners I can do there. And then you can just snip straight along up to your corner. And it looks like we better do this too. My husband's feeling very productive today. He went out and got all the front yard raking done. So the whole yard is raked and he's taken all the grass to the, the grass slash pine needles to the dump. So he's feeling very good. I'm feeling good too. I'm getting, getting some things done too. So we've just now, we're probably the last people in America. We're just now started. We finished the series, the blacklist, got that all done. And, um, and we just started the series Yellowstone. First episode we watched last night. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I think we're probably the last people in America. Okay. There is that one. That's so fun. Okay, how are we doing time-wise? Oh, we've got like 10 minutes, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So let's see what else can we do with these is there oh let's do the two circus ones so i have those done let's do that okay this one okay i think i'm going to use the small ones and just tie it so it could be taken apart okay and this one Boy, you can see though, you can really knock these out mass make wise if you just kinda kind of just getting them done here. Okay, let's grab. I think I have some have some good good string for these, I think. I don't know, it might be a little big. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can get it through there. Okay. Ah, <laughs> it's slippery. Right. It's a bit, a bit bulky, but that's okay. It's going to go into a pocket, so you know. I don't know that that's going to be that great. Maybe do I have something? Oh yeah, red. Let's use this. Oh, 
course it's in a knot. That's how I roll. There we go. Okay. I can't imagine um, like crocheting with that, but okay. Do what do we need on these? This one. I think I might put him right in the middle. Stand yourself right on that strong man's elbow. <laughs> okay, there's that one. This one. Um, I do have. I think I have one more of these. Let's put that right there. Just had a thought with these because it's right in front of my face. You could let me show you what I'm thinking. Oops, gosh. Um, all my all my done ones, but where is, for instance. instance like this one I've got Kathy's cute dangles you could grab a little um bulb pin and put a little bulb pin on there Cute, right? Oh man, so fun. Okay, I better do a little. Let's do a little um what you call it, flip through of what we've done. So there's that one with the dangle. I think the dangle's super cute on there. Very fun. Okay, and then we have the circus one. And, you know, writing all on all four sides. I love that about these. There's this one. Do I have writing on that side? Yes, I could write on the stripes. We have our little ones. Three little ones. And then this one. And the Tim Holtz one. And this one I didn't put any sort of decoration on. I mean, you could put like a label or something. Maybe a label down there would be cute or something. Maybe we'll wait till we put it, actually put it in a journal. So there you go. That's the project. Thank you to Kathleen Mowert for the inspiration. And thanks for being here, everybody. Have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.